Hello, everybody. I'm going to show you guys how to draw in these two boxes to create two drawings of things that you like to eat. So it says using the draw tools. The draw tools in um, uh, Google Slides are in this toolbar here. Remember I call this the tabs and this the toolbar. So in the toolbar, we have draw tools and those draw tools are here. We have the shape tool and the line tool. The shape tool is kind of what you expect. It's a bunch of squares and triangles and circles, but it has other shapes too. So like, if you like really like macaroni, you could use that. If you really like donuts, you could use this. If you like pizza, you could use this. If you're trying to make like um, an ice cream cone, you could use this, right? Like red shapes in here totally work for them, some of that stuff. So I'm gonna make um, a pizza. So I'm gonna use that to kind of start my pizza. And just like before with the um, word art, we can use this tool right here. It says fill colors, the paint bucket tool is another term for it. And I'm going to fill it with this kind of like light colored that can maybe look like the crust of the pizza. And then I'm going to make the border a, a little browner. And I'm also going to make it bigger. So because again, just like with the word art tool, this fills the color, this tells you what border is going to be, this tells you the weight of the border. So I've started my pizza by just using the shape tool. I'm gonna actually make my pizza bigger because I want it to take up most of this slide, most of this square, sorry. Um, and then I'm gonna use this tool, it's called the curve tool. The line tool, the arrow tool, the elbow connector, curve connector, they all are fine, but really the curve tool is the best one to use. And I'll, because you can actually create shapes that can close and then you can fill them in with color. So I'm gonna use the curve tool. So I'm imagining this being a pizza. So I'm gonna think about what's the next layer on a pizza. The next layer on a pizza is the um, sauce. So when we're using this curve tool, so I'm gonna do it over here so you can see it. I'm gonna click, drag, click. And when I click, now see how it creates this elbow and I can decide where it's going to go. Every time I click, I can actually bend it. So every time I click, I can drag and then I can actually bend as I'm dragging it to get it to be where I want it to be. So let me show you what you can do over here. So I'm gonna click the curve tool and I'm gonna get my sauce in there. So I'm gonna click. Drag. I'm going to try to get as close to the border as I can because I'm thinking about like the fact that the sauce will like be all over this, but also it's going to be a little wobbly too. Like it's not going to be perfect, right? Like there's always a little bit of crust showing. That's fine. So what I'm doing is I'm just clicking and dragging and I'm bending it however I want to bend it as I'm dragging it. Okay. So. What color is sauce? Well, it's red. So I'm gonna take a, get a kind of a reddish color here. And there's the sauce of my pizza. So now I need to put cheese on there, right? Well, I'm gonna, again, <clears throat> I'm gonna use this curve tool and I'm gonna again come in and I'm gonna start click. Oh, I need to click the curve tool, sorry. Click, drag, and I'm just gonna like start to get, try to get to the edge of the sauce to kind of create this layer of cheese. I'm just kind of clicking and dragging the whole time. And I want some sauce to be seen because it would make no sense to draw this thing, all the sauce down here and not show it. So I want some of the sauce to be shown. So this is going to be cheese color. So I'm going to make it kind of this a yellow color there, but that doesn't really look like cheese. So what I can do is I can actually take this curve tool again, and now I can just kind of go like this and make some kind of wobbly line with it. That's not a wobbly line. Come on, curve tool. And I can double click and I can leave that, but now I'm going to make it like just a slightly darker yellow than I already have on there. 
and I'm going to make it a slightly thicker line. And what I can do now is I can actually make this smaller by using this corner tool. So now it's just kind of this like wobble of cheese on there. What I'm going to do is now I can actually either right click and copy. But if you look, Control C is also copy. So I'm going to click on here. Make sure you have the select tool. Click here, Control C, and then Control V. Now, if I were to just copy and paste that there, it's exactly the same. That's not as that's not fun. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to like turn it. I can also like make it a little bit bigger this way and a little bit smaller this way, right? Like I can stretch it as I need to to make it not look exactly like that other piece of cheese. And I just can do the same thing. I can just keep pasting cheese and linking it. And it's bigger, smaller. I just kind of put some wobbly things on here to make it look like cheese. So I'm just gonna stop right there just because I'm not gonna take I don't have a whole video making cheese. But like you can see now that by combining the shape tool <clears throat> and the curve line tool, you can start to draw pictures. So that's what you're gonna do in these two boxes is combine the shape tool and the curve line tool to draw two pictures of things you like to eat. Thanks for watching.